for um, hiring only permanent residents and and uh, um, citizens of the U.S. The, the reason um, that we did this was because we were told uh, very clearly that if we did not hire permanent residents uh, of the United States, that that would con constitute a violation of international trade tra traffic and arms regulations (ITAR) and the entire executive team of SpaceX and the board would go to prison. Mm -hmm. Sounds so, like a good motivation. Uh, yes, and so we we were literally told this by the government in very clear terms. And and you, I mean, you're well aware of ITAR. I am well aware of it. Yes, yes, it's an, it's a nightmare, and we would like to which hire which, which by the way uh, puts us in a non-competitive world against uh, uh, other nations. Yes, it's pretty bad. Yeah. So then then the DOJ, um, it, you know, is, is suing uh, SpaceX. Um, for not hiring asylum seekers. Now, an, an important point here, not asylum, those who have been granted asylum, those who are seeking asylum. And there's a lot of those. There's a lot of people seeking asylum. Yes. So we're damned if we do and damned if we don't. Mm. <laughs> so so if, if, we, if we hire someone who's not a permanent resident, we, we're, we're breaking the law. And if we don't hire someone who's not... He's not a permanent resident. We're breaking the law. Mm. So, what? This is this is an example of the madness that we're facing.